Hold on to your butts. These are the Squashbuckler Diaries. Welcome back. My name is Guy Hasson and you are listening to the Squash Buckley Diaries. And I hope you are holding on to your butts. And the reason that you, you should be holding on to your butts is not because every episode is as exciting as the previous, you know, we had a few action ones, but mainly because this is such a big, huge journey of how Joy, Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams and will become the teenager who lives in dreams and an adult, and perhaps she leave the dream. That person's life is what this is about. Building up her life one brick at a time to see what makes up a heroine and what makes up her life as a heroine, even when she's not fighting, even when she's not saving the world. What makes joy up? This is what this is about from birth to death. And it is true that we haven't covered the birth yet because that's a whole big story, at least one by itself, and it will be covered in the future. So for now, now we're just going to have fun in this one. This one is about what is it like to grow up in a dream. Sometimes, you know, imagine the possibilities where almost everything is possible. It must be fun to be a kid in a dream. And this is what this episode is about. Let's begin. Episode 39, The Trampoline Stairs. Joy's age four, told by the Red Dragon. Look up there, Dragonfather pointed up at the sky. He had just parked Bunny's revenge next to a trampoline bigger than ten pirate ships. And above it, and to the side, there was a slightly smaller trampoline. And so on and so on, the trampolines climbed towards the sky, becoming smaller and higher to create a stairway to a cloud. That cloud is the kingdom of trampolines, Dragonfather explained, and they just called us to say they need our help to save their kingdom. Are you ready to go? Why didn't we go there? Joy asked, pointing at the cloud itself. Joy, it's rude to park near the kingdom, Dragonfather said. We have to park here and go up the way everybody does. Ready? What is that? She pointed at the gigantic trampoline. You'll see. And indeed she did. At first she stumbled. Every step she took caused her to fall. But then Dragonfather taught her to jump on this new surface. She jumped higher and higher and higher. They jumped together to the higher trampoline. And higher and higher still until they reached the kingdom of trampolines. There they saved the day as always. Immediately afterwards Dragonfather disappeared having woken up. The kingdom had vanished behind them, but the trampoline staircase remained, and Dragon Little was standing on its edge. She shrugged and made her way down, jumping and bouncing, whooping and laughing. Then she made her way up, bouncing and laughing. She jumped on the trampolines for hours until she fell asleep on one. There was a smile on her face when she slept, told by the Red Dragon. Hello. Guy here again, and this is, you know, sometimes it's, you know, these episodes are separate, and sometimes it's just fun being in a dream. This is just a slice of life, of Joy's life, in a dream. You have to add this to all the other things that have happened, and all the other things that are, you know, we're going to talk about in the next few hundred episodes of season one. And, uh, and see how that childhood is, but This childhood also includes some magical moments like this one. Join us next time as we get to something slightly less awesome in an episode called Everything is Awesome without the music. (laughs) So join me tomorrow and now the credits. The Squash Buckler Diaries are written and read by me, Guy Hasson. If you want to know more about the Squash Buckler Diaries, check out the website guyhasson.com, which is G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N.com. The theme music is called Brash Gentleman and is by Thomas Herodek. I will talk to you again tomorrow in the dream. <coughs> ah, okay, sorry about that.